Now, one other example of the quasi-quadratic problem is uh, one we're going to look at here. Okay. Um, so uh, a is a point on the square root of x graph, free to move around. Okay. Free to move around. Uh, b as a, is a point at uh, on the uh, x-axis at one. Point coordinates one zero. Uh, we're clocking the distance from A to B, okay? Um, so that measurement is up here, uh, A to B distance. And we're trying to find uh, the coordinates of A for which the minimum distance is uh, obtained. Okay, now obviously, uh, the further I go out on the function, the larger that distance, okay? Um, so we want to figure out where will this, what will be the coordinates of this point A so as the distance from A to B is minimum, okay? So um, watch the coordinates and watch the, uh, the distance and see when we get as small as possible. We're shrinking down, we're shrinking down. Now, now some might think, well, right here at, uh, at 1 is going to be the minimal distance. Well, so is this going to be 1. So uh, somewhere in between, so look at this, we're shrinking down, we're getting smaller, smaller, up, and we're still getting smaller, we're still getting smaller, and uh, I'm sorry, uh, we're watching the distance uh, of a b, and we're trying to see when that is as small as possible. Okay, so I think it's getting larger. And we're going to write about 0.5. I think we're going to reach our minimum distance. Okay, so we want to confirm that. Okay, so let's let's go and look at this and do a, a workup on it to figure it out. Okay, so uh, so here we go. Let's work this out. Okay, this is going to be another example of a quasi-quadratic problem. Okay, uh, we, we've got the, the coordinates at B, which are known. The coordinates are A are subject to change, so we're simply going to keep those as X, Y. Um, and the coordinates at B are 1, 0. Okay, uh, we're trying to find the distance, which is the minimum, so we're going to need the distance formula which, of course, we all know is difference of the x-coordinates, so it's x minus 1 quantity squared plus uh, y minus 0 the quantity squared, which, of course, comes down to x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared. Now, that's our distance formula. It's not our distance function because it's not in terms of x. Okay, so how do we equate this in terms of x? Well, since our point is on the graph y equals the square root of x, it's the y value on that point can always be replaced with radical x. So the point then is not is no longer x y; it's x root x. Okay, so uh, having said that, we can come now and replace in here x squared minus 2x plus 1. We can replace our y with the square root of x, and that, of course, is going to be squared, which is just going to give us x, okay? And more importantly, it's going to give us the distance as a function of x. So we're getting x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus x. Okay, this is 2x, it looks like 12x, okay, which collectively, d as a function of x is x squared, negative x plus x, negative 2x plus x is negative 1x, okay, there's our function, which is a quadratic underneath a radical, which again, as we've been saying all along, is quasi-quadratic which means 
x equals negative b over 2a comes into play, as it always has, and that being um, negative b over 2a would make that 1 half the value of x, okay? Uh, if 1 half is the value of x, then the value of y is the square root of 1 half. The square root of 1 half is the value of y. So, so the coordinates of the point are 1 half comma radical 1 half, whatever that value is. And then um, the, the g of 1 half is the minimal distance. The function of value at 1 half is the minimal distance, which of course is uh, 1 half quantity squared minus 1 times 1 half, which is 1 half plus 1 half. Okay, so take that uh, plus 1 rather. So uh, 1 half squared is 1 fourth, and 1 half plus 1 is, um, is uh, I mean, 1 quarter, yeah, 1 half negative plus 1 is a half. Uh, so this is going to be uh, the square root of 3 fourths. The minimum distance is going to be radical 3 over 4. So the minimum distance is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, whatever that decimal value is. And so 1 half common root 1 half, we go back to our, our sketch pad example. If we drive this thing to 1 half, uh, we're right there, okay, and, and the square root of one half, uh, I would venture to say, is probably right about that y value of 0.7. Uh, and then that minimal distance, as we computed, was root 3 over 2, which I think if you check with that, you'll, you'll find that uh, root 3 over 2 should be somewhere in that decimal value range, okay? So there it is, another optimization with a quasi-quadratic expression, okay? So hope that helps with these.